Welcome to the ImageProGraph L-Series Classroom. Familiarizing yourself with the display. 1. This icon in the top left of the display is the currently active function. 2. This icon with the white bounding box is the user's selected function. 3. These icons display the current settings of the selected function. Familiarizing yourself with the control panel. A steady blue light indicates the scanner is in a ready state. A flashing blue light indicates the scanner is currently performing a task. A steady orange light indicates the scanner is open. The home button returns you to the default scan to network icon indicated by the white bounding box. The navigation arrows allow you to scroll between functions and is indicated by the white bounding box. Click the OK button to enter into the next level of the selected function or to save the current value. The Paper Eject button will eject the document to the rear only, if loaded and not currently scanning or calibrating. The Back button goes to the previous menu. The Start button starts a copy or a scan depending on the selected function. The Stop button cancels the current operation. Scanner Operation there are four function icons on the scanner display. Scan to network PC. Scan to USB stick. Copy. And settings. Now that we're familiar with the control panel and functions, let's do a scan. In this tutorial, we'll do a copy. All features and functions in this operation mode are similar to the scan to PC and scan to USB. The only difference is the number of copy selection and scaling option. First, enter your document into the scanner, center justified. To help reduce skew, align your document to this line and insert with confidence. Looking at the control panel, use the navigation arrows to move to the copy function. First, we will select the number of copies you may select up to nine copies. Second, select your desired color mode. Color, monochrome, or black and white. Third, select quality. Standard, high, or best. We'll select the size of the original document. It is recommended to use auto, as this will automatically detect the width of the document. A scale factor needs to be set. A scaling sticker is included with your L-Series. Six levels of brightness are selectable, from minus three to plus three. Use this option to increase or decrease the overall image brightness. Six levels of black point adjustment are selectable, Setting a higher value will cause tones close to black to become pure black, which can improve contrast. However, setting a black point too high will cause shadow details to be lost. Six levels of white point adjustment are selectable. Setting a higher value will cause tones close to white to become pure white. This will improve contrast and overall intensity of the image. Setting the white point too high may cause details in areas of highlights to be lost, making the image look flat. Adjusting white point can also help clean up originals that may have yellowed over time. The last option is to crop borders. It is recommended to leave this at the default setting. Press the back button to return to the home screen. Press the green button to start the scan. Once the scan is complete, printing will start. If you wish to save the settings you just used to complete your scan, click here. Then here, to save a preset. You may save one preset on the L-Series scanner. Settings and maintenance. Now that you have successfully performed a scan, let's spend a little time learning about the settings and maintenance of your L-Series scanner. Click here to enter the settings menu. 
Use the navigation arrows to move across the screen. Click this icon to set up your network preferences. Click here to update firmware from a USB stick. We recommend to check online for firmware updates every six months. Save your current settings as a default by clicking here. Reset settings to default by clicking here. Use copy length adjustment only if your scan length is not correct. Click OK on this icon to perform a scanner calibration. Ensure you have removed the ejection guides. Don't forget to replace them after the calibration is complete. Enter the calibration sheet with the black side first, like this. The calibration sheet will be required for future calibrations. Please don't throw this away. Arrow across to select auto stitch. You will only need to perform this calibration if your image is not aligned across the scan. This concludes the L-Series Scanner Classroom. For more classroom sessions, please visit the Canon YouTube channel within your region.